Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Paul. I'm with East Wind SEO and I've partnered up with Royal Elevation to bring you this video on some tips on improving your online presence. You spoke with Nathan earlier about this video and we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to go over content, citations, and backlinks. I have your website right here. Let's take a look at it. You know, it's a really nice looking website, really good pictures you have there. Um, your phone number right up top here with your contact us click to call or call the action button um you know you do have your chat bubble down here which is an awesome thing to have you know as we move down everything flows nice and comes together very well so it's a well put together website right um i would definitely recommend more content you know while it is a well put together website content will definitely help boost you guys in the rankings and gaining more traffic to your website the reason for that is having the content we always recommend at least 1500 words it allows you plenty of room to put in those buyer intent keywords so when google crawls your website you know they're going to go through all that content they're going to find those keywords it's going to tell them about your business you know what it is you do the areas you serve uh, the services you offer. It's going to tell them that you are, in fact, a professional in that service industry, and it's also going to help them determine where they're going to place you within the Google search results. Also, it is going to help you guys show up in more searches because you are relevant to those keywords that people are searching in Google um, because you have those keywords in your content. So if we go ahead and jump into a search right now on Google, uh, the first thing we're going to see up at the top here are these ads. So ads are a great way to get business. Um, they allow you to target a specific audience, therefore allowing your business name to show up in the front of the eyes of people that are more likely to go with your services because they are already searching for those services. So you can definitely, definitely see some good re results from an ad campaign. Moving on down from that, we have the Google Map Pack. This being in the top three here. These guys see a good chunk of business just from being in that top three. You know, you can definitely get up in that top three. This is where your citations come into play. You want to basically have more citations um, coming back to you than these guys up in this top three. So that's going to be your Google business profile. You want to have that filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information and get it into as many online uh, directories as possible. That's going to be anything like Yelp or Yellow Pages, Angie's List, you know, so on and so forth. There are hundreds of online directories that you can utilize, get your business name into, you know, start getting some citations back and show up in that top three. Moving on down from there, we have the organic search results. We have Yelp sitting up there at the top. Not too much of a concern. You really want to focus on uh, taking out your direct competitors' websites. You know, uh, Yelp is a, um, you know, directory, so it's not something we're really too concerned about. So to start ranking or maybe um, overtaking your competitors that are sitting up at the top of the list, you know, you want to do some research. You want to take a look and see what's going on with their website, what's going on with your website, compare, contrast, and you'll see what techniques you can use to start overtaking them. And I do that with a tool called Ahrefs. Uh, we'll take a look at it right here. I have you guys right up here that I put through, and we're going to take a look at these numbers right here. So this basically is a tool that tells me how a website is performing. You know, it helps me draw a roadmap. Uh, you know, if I want to start outranking a competitor or maybe just start ranking higher, you know, um, you know, period, or maybe I want to start driving more traffic or maybe all of the above. Right. So this gives me a good starting point and lets me know what I might have to do. So this UR and DR here, they are two numbers that you want to pay attention to. Uh, the UR being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is, according to Google. DR being a power rating or how powerful your website is, right? So this DR, you definitely want to get this bumped up a little more. I mean, there's always room for opportunity. Um, so that would be your backlinks, right? You want to go through your backlinks. You know, make sure you're getting some good, powerful referring domains, giving you some quality backlinks. You and By quality backlinks, I mean, you know, you want a websites pointing back to you that are relevant 
to your service industry. I mean, that's what a backlink is. It's just something linking back to your website from an outside source, you know, whether it be a comment blog or whether it be another website or anything else like that. So make sure you're keeping it relevant to your service industry. Um, you can also, you know, go through your backlink profile, see what's coming across. You know, sometimes there's some spammy links back there. Um, that's what you want to kind of stay away from. You don't want random websites linking back to you because that's going to come across as spammy, you know, in Google's eyes. Um, and they'll flag you for that. And that's going to affect your numbers. You know, it's a, going to affect your ranking abilities um, in the search results as well. So if we wanted to try and outtake, um, you know, our competitors that we saw sitting up there at the top, uh, we can throw them in this uh, tool as well, throw them through Ahrefs to see what they got. They obviously have a ton of backlinks coming back to them. Uh, they are getting some really good traffic, getting found for a bunch of keywords. So we can go through their backlink profile. And because that you guys are in the same industry, you know, most likely that, you know, the backlinks that are working for them are going to work for you as well. So we could go add those backlinks to our profile, go out and get those backlinks, you know, start seeing some results from that. Same thing with the keywords, right? We could go through their keyword profile, see what they have, what's working for them, maybe implement that into our content as well. Um, you know, and that's the name of the game. You want to increase traffic flow to your website, right? This is why I stress the importance of having that content on your homepage because it allows you to show up more often uh, in those uh, searches as people search for those keywords that are in your content. And that's going to drive more traffic to your website. Uh, so with that being said, those are the top three uh, tips that I have for you guys. Um, you know, they are Definitely some things you could see some good results from. You could definitely implement them yourself, or you can always reach out to us as well. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful and you got some good information out of it, and we really do appreciate you guys taking the time to check it out. Um, and, you know, go ahead and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.